The Fed needs to stop being so broad and opaque. What we need from them is narrow transparency. Otherwise, the animal spirits will kick in again and companies will start going on a higher range, which is the last thing the Fed wants. I don't expect our central bank to notice little things like the, say, the Cava IPO that happened right here, where the restaurant chain stock doubled in value. That kind of thing's not on their radar, but it's on mine. See, we've had a moribund IPO market for a long time. It's not been creating any jobs at all. Plus, of the roughly 600 companies that came public in 2021 via regular IPOs or SPAC, most of them have been burned or they've had to return the money in the case of the SPACs. Very little job creation from any of these entities. But I think that could change. Change for the better if you're looking for a job, but change for the worse if you're the Federal Reserve. Here's why. When we get the IPOs flowing and the success of the COVID deal tells me it's going to be coming, it means we're about to see wealth creation back on a grand scale for the first time in years. And when you have massive wealth creation, one thing is for certain, the demand for single family homes goes through the roof. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.